This video looks at the two basic examples of using the cosine rule. One to find a side and the other to find an angle. Now I personally call cosine rule the S-A-S rule. It's where we have a side, an angle and a side in this sort of configuration and we want to find the opposite side to the angle. And the rule, generally, is given like so, but we must adapt this rule to our given numbers and letters. Now A is always the side opposite the angle, so m squared, and B and C are the other two sides. It does not matter which way around you have B and C. So we'll have 5 squared plus 7 squared, and then take away, again, B and C, two lots of 5 and 7, and A is the angle enclosed between the two known sides, so cos of 32. And to work out m squared, you just input that formula into your calculator. Press enter, and we get 14.64 to 4SF. Then to find what m is, we just have to work out the square root of that particular answer and we get 3.83 to 3SF. So again, to find a side opposite an angle when it's contained within two known sides, we use the cosine rule. Now we can also use the cosine rule to find an angle given three sides. And again, the trick here is to identify in this rule which side is which. Now A is always the side opposite the angle in question, albeit in this case a Y. So that's A, and then B and C are just the other two sides in any order. And a is the angle in question, so y is the angle. So for the formula a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of the angle, we have 4 squared equals 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 5 times 7 times cos of, in this case, y. And the trick here is to be able to rearrange this formula. And it's not too tough to do. So we work out the squared parts first and get 16 equals 25 plus 49 minus 2 times 5 times 7 is 70 cos of y. Then 16. Add those together, we get 74. Take away 70 cos of y. And we want to get y equals, but step one is to work out what cos y equals. So if I take away 74 from both sides, I end up with minus 58 is equal to minus 70 cos of y. And then divide by minus 70. So I get minus 58 over minus 70 equals cos of y. And that is my equation for cos y. In this case the minus signs actually cancel out. So basically to find y I must do the inverse cos of that fraction. So y equals the inverse cos. Again the two signs cancel out. So 58 over 70. Press enter and we get 34.0 degrees to 3s so, the cosine rule can be used to find a missing side or a missing angle. In another video, we apply this to bearings and problems in real life, and also consider a rearranged form of this to speed up this particular calculation here.